All right, man, let's talk about uh, rumor that, you know, Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua have a date now. Let's speak on it. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance to get notifications. We go live or drop video. They're saying now that they're going to fight March 9th in Saudi Arabia if they both get past their fights. Now, it's been some debate about who would be the main event. I heard allegedly they could be doing the coin flip. Um, December 23rd, they fight on the, the stat card, mostly heavyweights. And then you got Dimitri Bibble fight Lyndon Arthur on the card. Um, you know, Wilder be taking on Joseph Parker. Anthony Joshua will be taking on Otto Wileen. Um, so Deontay Wilder started chronic complaining when it, rumors was coming out that Anthony Joshua was going to be the main event versus Wileen, which that I think that should be the main event, in my humble opinion. That's the better fight. Um you know, apparently they want to flip a coin. Now, Wilder is and then, you know, feel, feel self-entitled because Al Heyman told him that, you know, uh, you know, he was important. You know, he's not the star, especially over there, that Anthony Joshua is. That's just the fact of the matter. And on top of that, Anthony Joshua got the better fight, not saying that he's a better fighter. But, you know, I don't know how they're going to sort that out. You heard it was with a coin flip. I think AJ and Otto Aline should be the main event. I think most people feel the same way. In my opinion, from what I what I what I what I hear out there, okay. Um, but you know, nonetheless, uh, um, you know, but nonetheless, uh, you see, Anthony Joshua Deontay Wilder reportedly now has a deal in place for March 9th in Saudi Arabia. So long as they win their first uh, fight on December twenty third, Anthony Joshua, Otto Alina Wilder, and Joseph Parker. According to Mike Coppinger. So, yeah, so apparently they're going to uh, get it on uh, March 9th in Saudi Arabia. I mean, at the end of the day, um, I think that would be a nice little bucket list thing to do is go to Saudi Arabia. Hard they really industrializing over there. But it probably do you some good to read up on uh, on their customs and learn a little bit of their language and what you can and can't do over there. Some people say – it's so it's a lot of places over there are so industrialized and so modern. Maybe that's the word I'm looking for that they forget they, you know, they not at home and they start, you know, breaking some of the laws and then they don't play that. They're going to throw you right in jail. So certain things that, you know, uh, homie don't play over there. So that's one thing you kind of got to. Uh, you kind of got to remember when you go over there. So unfortunately, that's not going to happen in America or in us but the saudis had enough money to make it work you know deontay water said he signed with them for a few a few fights and said he's still with al Heyman, which some people call you know crock a hogwash um but yeah Heyman probably still getting the percentage you know what i'm saying you know but uh uh you know, so, you know, so, I mean, it is what it is. You know, so, but uh, I think it was a fight that should have happened. And it kind of, like, kind of with Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather sets a bad precedence. You know, and one of the bad, you know, precedents that it sets is that if you sit here and you wait it out, then somebody eventually gonna come with the money, and that. And but they don't ever think, you know, when you do that, the product gets stale. The product gets stale. You know, and then when the product gets stale, you know, and you get the fight, it ain't what it could have been years ago. Then that turned people off from boxing. Pay per view really died. When Mayweather and uh, when Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao, people waited years for a fight and it under and underperformed. You know, people wait years to see these other fights like Crawford and Spence. It underperformed. It was a one-sided ass whooping. You know, it was a one-sided ass whooping. That ain't what people paid to see, even though. It was exhilarating for a lot of Eros, you know, uh, Terrence Crawford fans, but that ain't what people paid to see. That ain't what people paid to see. 
at all. You know, so when you sit here and you marinate the fight and it don't live up to the bill, and then another thing about it, um, you know, another thing about it, you know, you go in there and, um, you know, you, you get the fight that you want and, and then, you know, a fighter win, then the excuse is being made. And then the excuse is being made. It's like, okay, it's like this. Right. The excuse being made is, oh, man, you know, if they would have fought a couple years ago, he definitely would have lost. He definitely would have lost. So then they're going to diminish you. But any boxing, they're going to find they're going to find a way to diminish you regardless. Oh, man, if Wilder, if Wilder lose, oh, man, if Wilder would have fought him, you know, blah, 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 this, that, and the third back in the day, this wouldn't even have happened. This wouldn't even happen. It wouldn't even went down like that. That's what they do. That's what they do. They find a way to diminish. They find a way to diminish. No matter if the fight happened on time or not. You know, you know. So but nonetheless, man, I think this is good for boxing. Ha finally happening. I think it could have been happening. Um, you know, but, you know, at the same time, it is what it is. You know, hopefully it turned out to be a good fight. Hopefully they both win, which is a possibility that both of them could lose. You know what I'm saying? Ottawa Lean is a real challenge, bro. A real challenge. That ain't no hard, for, that ain't no easy fight. You know, so, but, uh, and water can too. Water ain't really fought nobody or had a real fight until, until he fought, uh, until he fought old buddy. Until he, since he fought Tyson Fury, he ain't really had no real fight. That Atlanta shit don't count. In my opinion, it don't. You know, in my opinion, it don't count. So he ain't been in the ring since he fought Tyson Fury. What was that, 2022? Let me see. So Joseph Parker can win. Joseph Parker, this will be his fourth fight this year. So in my opinion, he ain't had no real fight since, yeah, 2000. Uh, since 2021. So it, to me, it's been over two years since he had a real fight. Over two years. That one round, the Hellenius, that wasn't no fight. We don't know if he still got punch resistance. We don't know where his faculties, his balance and stuff at. We don't know none of that. We don't know where none of that is, where he's at, you know, physically. So that's that's the great the great debate. That's the great mystery. That's the great mystery. You know. But you know, water had to sign with the Saudis. 
So, you know, so I guess Al Heyman, long as he got his, his piece of change on the side, he good. Eddie, uh, Anthony Joshua probably didn't have to do that because, you know, Anthony Joshua, okay, Anthony Joshua, you know, Eddie Hearn got a great record relationship with those guys. So he probably didn't have to go do that. So, um, but that is what it is. Check out the heavyweight boxing talk playlist. Check out the box rumor playlist. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Like I said, hit the link tree. You can find me everywhere from Spotify, X, aka Twitter, um, Amazon Music, Google Podcasts, and much, much more. You know, hit the link tree. Find me everywhere. Let me know what you girls and guys think in the comments section, man. Uh, peace.